Good afternoon. My name is Elizabeth McCauley. I am one of the clergy serving at Hennepin Avenue, United Methodist Church, and I am joining you from there. I am in the Harrison Room, uh, which is one of the spaces where people gather for prayer and deep conversation and uh, connecting with others. And so I greet you because I am hoping that we will have prayer together and a way to connect with each other. And certainly uh, these are days for deep conversation. I wanna start with a piece from the prophet Micah about uh, a vision, Micah 4. In days to come, the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established as the highest of the mountains and shall be raised up above the hills and peoples will stream to it. And many nations shall come and say, come, let us go up the mountain of the Lord to the house of the God of Jacob, that we may teach, that he may teach us his ways and that we may walk in his paths. For out of Zion shall go forth instruction and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. He shall judge between many peoples and shall arbitrate between strong nations far away. They shall beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. Nation shall not lift up sword against nation and neither shall they learn war anymore. But they shall all sit under their own vines and under their own fig trees and no one shall make them afraid for the mouth of the Lord of hosts has spoken. This image of swords being beaten into plowshares and uh, peoples uh, being responding to hope by coming together and putting themselves in a learning posture uh, is um, compelling in these days when there is so much happening across the world and uh, within our cities and uh, the nations uh, who are experiencing conflict. So I'm glad to have this time together. We'll be together for about 10 minutes or so, and we will read delicious words and we'll pray together. Tonight at Hennepin, I'm getting a book, just a second. Uh, tonight at Hennepin, we are hosting a uh, Christians Against uh, Christian Nationalism meeting. It's an organizing meeting at 6.30 tonight. 511 Groveland Avenue is where we are located. And it's a, a ecumenical and interfaith, actually. Um, the name of the, the gathering uh, is perhaps misleading, but people of faith who seek to come together uh, to bear witness for this vision of uh, the God of peace drawing us into uh, relationship that will sustain and bless and look uh, to uh, creating systems of justice uh, rather than uh, oppression. So join us if you are of a mind. I love poetry and I love beautiful words and I have loved the work of Cole Arthur Riley who recently put out a book called Black Liturgies, Poems, Prayers and Meditations for Staying Human. She is a powerful writer and she writes from her perspective of being a black woman. Uh, she wrote a book called This Here Flesh that is stunning in its power. And she says this about poetry that I like. She quotes poet Lucille Clifton who says, you come to poetry not out of what you know, but out of what you wonder. And so in this book, uh, she uh, creates these liturgies that speak to the black experience. Uh, and so, so, so much of this uh, needs bearing witness to and perhaps not uttering by the likes of me. But I want to share with you a prayer for the land that she has in a chapter called Place. Here at Hennepin, we're looking at what does it mean to be part of uh, regenerating the gift of God's creation. What does it mean to be stewards of the earth? And uh, so this uh, petition for the land, I commend to us, uh, and uh, here's how she speaks it. God of creature and sky, we have not protected the divine in all of creation. We have forgotten our origins, placing ourselves as superior to the very earth that formed us. Humble us 
God. Shake us from the belief that we are capable of ruling over the earth when we cannot even care for humanity. Remind us just how young we are in comparison to the cosmos. We are no saviors. Make us learners. Make us listen for and heed the quiet things whispered by the soil and the sea. Free us from our narcissism as we look on the suffering of other creatures and find our souls at last stirred. And as we become more honest about our flagrant degradation of land, may we protect those countries and peoples who have disproportionately suffered the greed of the powerful. May we listen to the indigenous wisdom in our midst, those who have long warned us that this land does not belong to us, that our ownership of it is a collective delusion. As we look up from the lie, may we find tree and star and dirt and become the earth's meekest disciples and fiercest protectors. Amen. That is Cole Arthur Riley from her book, Black Liturgies. Uh, she is blessing in our midst. I chose a poem by Mary Oliver uh, because uh, we are in the class that follows worship, uh, dealing with the healing hope for creation. We are reading a book together called When God Was a Bird, and we are using as our centering time the actual sound of various birds. Uh, last Sunday it was, is it pileated, pileated, I don't know, wood, woodpecker sounds. Uh, and I found a poem called Goldfinches, which was written by Mary Oliver. I chose it for a few reasons. You'll see what you find in it. For me, the image of a goldfinch flying free in a warm sky is um, salvific on this frozen day in January. But um, this peon, this uh, song of gratitude, goldfinches, Mary Oliver. In the fields we let them have, in the fields we don't want yet, where thistles rise out of the marshlands, marshlands of spring and spring open, each bud a settlement of riches, a coin of reddish fire. The finches wait for midsummer, for the long days, for the brass heat, for the seeds to begin to form in the hardening thistles, dazzling as the teeth of mice but black, filling the face of every flower. Then they drop from the sky, a buttery gold. They swing on the thistles. They gather the silvery down. They carry it in their finchy beaks to the edge of the fields, to the trees, as though their minds were on fire with the flower of one perfect idea. And there they build their nests and they lay their pale blue eggs every year. And every year the hatchlings wake in the swaying branches, in the silver baskets and love the world. Is it necessary to say any more? Have you heard them singing in the wind above the final fields? Have you ever been so happy in your life. Hmm. The goldfinches uh, and the witness to the power of creation and uh, the ability to apprehend miracle around us and uh, for some of us the strong conviction that summer will happen again. This uh, business of being stewards of not only creation but uh, the ways we relate to each other is no small thing. And so uh, whatever it is you carry in your hearts on this day, uh, you do not carry them alone. You are in the midst of a cloud of goldfinches, uh, but also people who are 
there uh, to see and hear and bear witness with you. So I would like to pray together. I would like to invite you to church this Sunday. Uh, we have a guest preacher, the Reverend Dr. Eliezer Fernandez, who is my teacher. And he will be preaching on Sunday uh, at 10 o'clock, and then he'll be teaching a class uh, in this Hope for Creation gathering where we seek to be a seed bed, a plant, a place uh, where the seeds black as the teeth of mice um, uh, are born for a new way of living in the midst of God's world. So pray with me if you would. God of all life, we thank you for poets and for people whose words and whose silences bring us to attention and to awareness. So for your vision of a world in which people stream to mountaintops in order to hear about swords being beaten into cultivation tools, in this world where we seek to be grounded in your vision that we would love one another as we are so profoundly loved, in this world where so many feel fright and need, would you help us to know the power you've given us? Would you help us to breathe in blessing and breathe out the power of our conviction? That you are present, that you bless us, that you call us to be blessing. For those who are seeking healing on this day from grief, from physical ailments, we pray blessing. And we would ask that you would grant us the awareness that we are not alone and that you are in our midst and you show up in the most remarkable ways. Grant us wisdom in these days, we pray. Amen. So God be with you. Thank you for being here. Uh, if, if we see you tonight at Hennepin, that'd be great at 6.30. Uh, if you wanna be on the mailing list for the Christians Against Christian Nationalism, let me know that or put it in the, uh, uh, you know what I mean, the memo portion of uh, this time together. And uh, God bless you and keep you. And thanks for being here. Bye.